Hey guys, so we're out here at our commercial heifers and uh, we're setting these up to artificially inseminate. So Mark's been feeding them a feed additive called MGA, which suppresses their heat cycle. So cattle naturally every 18 to 21 days come in heat to be bred once they reach puberty. So Mark fed them this feed additive that suppressed that cycle and made them uh, not come in heat for a while. And then we took it away from them and Mark gave them a shot uh, two days ago to, uh, it basically kickstarts their body and tells them, hey, I need, to, I need to come into heat, I haven't been bred. So it syncs them all up to come in heat at the same time so we can run them all through at the same time and get them bred. And uh, when he gave them the shot, he put these stickers on their back and uh, when we put them on, they, they're gray. And when they ride each other like these are doing, it rubs that sticker off and it turns bright orange so we know that that heifer came in heat so uh here after a while we'll sort the ones that are in heat right now out and we'll breed them and uh we'll do the rest tomorrow uh based off of time if they don't come in we still breed them off of a time breeding because sometimes they just won't show a heat and you can actually still get them bred so you'll notice some of these heifers riding each other and it's just a natural instinct when when the one standing still is being rode, that means she's in heat. The, the other heifer is is riding her uh, to reenact what a bull would do. So that's just a natural behavior that you'll see all the time with cattle that haven't been bred. So we're getting set up here to breed our heifers and I'm uh, just going to run through some of the tools we use and uh, the process so you guys can learn a little bit about what we do. Here we've got our sleeves that we put on Whenever we AI, we'll go in through the rectum with this hand and I'll feel along the bottom and find a reproduct reproductive track through the rectum. And uh, we keep our semen in this tank here. It's in liquid nitrogen, so it stays frozen. It's in straws in these canisters. Whenever we get ready to breed, we'll take a, a straw out, drop it into this thaw jug that's 96 degree water, so it pretty much thaws instantly, and that way we don't lose any sperm cells as we revitalize it. Then we'll cut the top off the straw with a straw cutter, slide it in a sheath, and put that on this rod. So then when I go in through the rectum and I find the reproductive tract, I'm going to stick this rod through, through a reproductive tract, guide it through the cervix with my hand, and once I get where I need to be, the uterine horns split off like this, and an egg is produced in one of these uterine horns. So I need to put the semen right at the beginning where they start to split, and then nature will take its course and fertilize the egg, whichever side it's on. If I go into this uterine horn and deposit the semen and the eggs over here, I haven't done any good. So I've got to be right at the beginning and hope that it works out. So that's some of the tools. I've got my chinks on so I don't get painted with any liquid grass. And uh, we're about ready to start.
check and make sure it's the right bowl we want to use. We drop it in that tall jug. Let it sit for about 40 seconds. This is usually when I put my glove on or uh, get my paper towels ready, whatever I need to do while that thaws. take the semen out and dry it off really good because water can actually kill the sperm cells also. So we'll dry it off good. It's got a crimped end right there. Put that in our straw cutter. It cuts a quarter of an inch off of the straw. Seed it into our sheath. Slide it on our gun. That's why we put these on. Save a little bit of stain remover. So it's day two and we're getting ready to breed the rest of the heifers and uh, get it finished up. To come in here and kind of spread our, our lube around and we'll get in there a little easier. Get some of this mess out of the way. You can see a little bit this one's sloughing off some discharge too when they're in heat they'll put out a little bit of that it's just another the secondary sign of heat besides when they ride each other I'm into about I don't know four inches below my elbow I've got a hold of her cervix with my left hand I'm gonna clean up the area a little bit and I like to stick a paper towel in there just to open it up where I don't have to touch anything exterior with my gun. No chances of introducing something inside of it. I'll go up at kind of a 45 degree angle to stay out of her urinary tract. Make sure we don't end up in her bladder. I can feel the gun with my left hand. right at the edge of her cervix. We're gonna try and work it, work the cervix over the rod and get where we need to be.
through one, two, three rings and cervix. Just on the other side. We're going to deposit it right there on the other side. And make sure we push up with our thumb, not pull back with our fingers. So we don't slide it out of position. We'll keep it right there with these two fingers and push the plunger with our thumb. And just come out nice and slow. The next uh, step or another process that we use during this AI is we give them a, a shot of a drug that allows them to release an egg to up our chances of getting a conception. I'm also changing needles uh, because with every full syringe, when that's empty, that's a good time to change your needles to keep from any contamination back and forth amongst the cattle, keep any uh, knots from forming. So. Uh, we're going to fill this syringe up and be ready to go again and keep on working cattle. without the behind the scenes help I'm holding the camera right now is my sister-in-law Lauren it's my wife Devin's getting guns ready for me and my mother-in-law Carla's around here somewhere cheerleading so it's a family affair today well, this is the one we've been looking for this is the last one out of 66, 65. So 65 heads this morning. I guess we did about 20 yesterday that came in heat early, but this is the last one and we'll grab lunch and take it easy the rest of the day, maybe.